Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. It's so great to have you with us today as we're revisiting a topic that we've always found pretty interesting. These are some of the most valuable things we believe anyone should figure out by the time they hit 30 and the reasoning behind them. Welcome to Alux, the place where billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, your best years may be ahead of you. Some people get stuck in the good old days. You were young, you had all the time and little responsibilities. You also didn't need three days to recover after a night out. But that doesn't mean the best years of your life are gone. You still have plenty of time ahead of you. After all, 30 is the new 20. Statistically, we're living longer and better lives. As a matter of fact, just from a quality of life perspective, you're living better than generations of royalty did. Look it up if you don't believe us. Now, we've talked in previous videos about being a time billionaire, or those people who have more than a billion seconds left to live. In other words, if you have 31 good years ahead of you, you can plan for the ultra long term. People underestimate what they can do in 10 years, so imagine 30. Number two, what motivates you? Motivation becomes a tricky thing as you get older. You can motivate a kid to do their homework with the reward of playtime, but nobody can motivate an adult to do their taxes on time, besides maybe fear of the government. The older you get, the harder you'll find motivation because there's no one to swing a carrot in front of you. And that's one of the reasons why people struggle with motivation. They expect it to come from outside, not from within. But here's the secret. You find motivation by finding a good reason to wake up in the morning. Number three, what do you expect from yourself? By the time you turn 30, you should have an idea of what you're capable of. Your true potential may yet to be realized, but you won't find that out if you don't understand yourself. Do you know what your limits are? How long can you stay focused? How fast can you learn something? People are capable of way more than they think, and by the time you're 30, you should start betting more on yourself. Number four, you are the only one responsible. First of all, by the time you turn 30, you need to understand that the place you're in is a result of your decisions. Nobody makes them for you. Well, most of the time. But you're in full control of the majority of the factors that impact your life. Everything you've done so far, good or bad, that's all on you. Here's a mind exercise to blow you away. Give a group of monkeys a typewriter and infinite time, and they'll eventually write some Shakespeare. This means there are certain actions you can take that will make your dream life come true. And since you don't have infinite time, nor a group of monkeys. Number five, how to educate yourself. One of the most valuable things you need to figure out before turning 30 is that learning never stops. You don't get to finish school and just call it a day. Once you stop learning, you stop earning. Basing your next 50 plus years on what you learned 10 years ago is a dangerous game and you will lose. And it's also never been easier in the history of humanity to keep learning. The best way to invest in yourself is to educate yourself and it never stops. Number six, you've spent most of the time with your parents already. By the time you've hit 30, if you've still got them, you've already spent 90% of the time with your parents. Some people have a bit of a problem wrapping their minds around that. When you were young, you saw your parents every time you got home, but you don't go home that much anymore. Your time with your parents is bound by family events, and it'll remain that way unless you actively do something about it. And this is true for friendships as well. Just living your life every day takes up most of your time. If you don't actively slot in time with your loved ones, it won't naturally happen. You may have had good old relationships that faded away just because you didn't bump into each other anymore. Number seven, be comfortable with making sacrifices. The older you get, the more sacrifices you'll need to make. 
Every choice to do something means a choice not to do something else. If you're not aware of these sacrifices, you will naturally default into the easiest choices. You'll choose a little now instead of a lot later. Being comfortable making sacrifices means understanding what you have to give up and what you get in return. People who are afraid of making sacrifices choose the illusion of a good life instead of taking control of their future. Number eight, how to make better mistakes. You will inevitably get something wrong. It's impossible to foresee the future and there isn't a cheat sheet to guide you step by step. So it's important to understand how to make better mistakes. And you do that by making sure whatever choice you make, it still allows you to play the game even if it doesn't work out. If you invest all of your life savings into a single thing and it goes to zero, you might learn the valuable lesson of not putting all of your eggs in the same basket. But you also don't have any more eggs. So as long as you can keep playing the game, you can afford as many mistakes as you want. Number nine, how to take care of others. Imagine for a second, you're the only human left on earth and everything is taken care of by robots. You might think you'll have a great time doing anything there is to be done in this world, but the reality is you'll probably go insane in less than a week. No matter how antisocial or introverted you think you are, you need good people around you. The best moments in life are shared with others. We need to belong to a group, it's human nature. And you do that by learning how to care for others. You need to understand how to be a great friend, a great teacher, a great parent, and so on. Number 10, how to find balance. The happiest people in life have a great balance of wealth and passion. They have the means to take care of themselves and their close ones, and they enjoy time doing what they love. And more often than not, what makes money and what makes them happy are different things. No matter how focused you are on your financial journey, don't neglect having a balance. There will be periods where you'll find yourself sacrificing a bit of that balance for a sprint, but never completely neglect it. The last thing you want to end up as is alone and miserable. Material things will never give you full satisfaction. You need to find the balance in experiences. Number 11, what makes you unique? One of the biggest strengths someone can have is how well they can leverage who they are. You are the sum of all of the experiences that you've had so far. And it's impossible for two people to have the same exact experiences at the same exact time, which means that every one of you has a unique way of seeing life. How well you can leverage that will dictate how well you'll do in life. If you don't know what you're unique at, it's time to figure it out. Think of what feels natural to you. What could you work on for hours on end? What seems obvious to you, but confusing to other people? Number 12, how to keep growing. Scientists are still debating if the brain stops developing at a certain age, but one thing is clear, some people keep growing while others stop. Over the years, we've met people well into their 40s who are still active in their own growth just as much as they were in their 30s and their 20s. They still spend time getting curious, meeting new people, learning about new technologies, and searching for ways to better themselves. These are the people who will enjoy life up until the very end. Number 13, how to keep up. The gap between the rich and poor increases year over year, and the middle class will soon disappear. Regardless about what you feel about this, you need to take care of yourself. At the same time, an increasing amount of people believe hard work is not a predictor for financial security. And you know what? They're right. But the reason for this is because smart work is increasingly more accessible. As barriers of entry are getting lower, entire industries are changing. Let's take being a media celebrity, for example. Kabi Lame started making TikTok videos when the pandemic hit, and now he's the face of Hugo Boss. 
Now, it's easy to look at this and say, well, how is that fair? I'm busting my ass on a 9 to 5 while TikTokers are making millions for presumably doing nothing? Well, the point we're trying to make here is that living in your own bubble makes you a stranger to the world. You don't understand how and why things are happening. You'll look confused at how people are securing a future for themselves in ways that you can't wrap your mind around. For example, you can buy Apple stocks from your phone while taking a dump. The point is, there are increasingly more baskets for you to throw your eggs in, and they're just two clicks away from you. So keep an eye on what's happening in the world. Number 14. How to disconnect As for the other side of the coin, you also need to figure out how to disconnect. There's an increasing number of people who are really burning out or losing touch with reality. Sitting in chairs and looking at screens takes up most of your day. Besides the toll it takes on your physical health, it also affects your mental state. You need to find a way to disconnect from all the noise. If finding balance helps keep you safe from burning out, disconnecting recharges you after a sprint. And by a sprint, we mean periods of one to three months where things are extra tough. You'll find that if you strive to make your life interesting, you'll always cycle between sprints and recharging. And number 15, how far you've come. The only good reason to look back at the past is to see how far you've come. It's a great way to help keep yourself grounded in the present and ambitious for the future. Look back at your life, at the difficulties you've managed to overcome, and how you've evolved as an individual. You've done great so far. Now it's time to make your dream life a reality. And on that note, we'll leave you with a bonus. You've had time now to try and experiment. You may have had a couple of different jobs, lived in a couple of different places, but now it's time to start understanding what a great life looks like. You need to anchor yourself in reality and push long enough for something that's challenging but achievable. Start planning what a great life would look like for you. Where do you see yourself living? What do you want to do for money? You might surprise yourself with finding out that your dream life looks actually way different than you'd envision it. By the time you're 30, you've had enough experiences to know what a perfect day looks like for you. Envision it, then work toward it. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.